These are confusing times. See the confusion is that game jams are done voluntarily and for fun in a weekend, and the other is something you have to do as part of how you pay for food and shelter for several months without even a pay increase. To be fair, a voluntary 48 hours hackathon is very different to spending 6 months working 70 hour weeks. Every jam I've been to has been extra clear that they so not wish for you to crunch and to take time to actually sleep. Game jams are for fun no one forces you to finish them are a competition you'll never have to look at this code again involve getting to know cool new people last a weekend game dev crunches are so you can eat if you wanna opt out. You lose a job you'll get a pat on the back at the end you'll have to start cleaning this up right after release the same people every day, and if not. It means you probably will have someone ask you questions every day for at least two weeks. Last for months. Me when marathon runners drive cars to work. The funny thing, many companies try such developing weekends with their software problems. I don't know what I should say to that. Spending 18 months in constant stressful crunch to survive spending a weekend with the buds for a voluntary show of skills. It's like saying that someone wants to live in a home, yet also wants to go on a weekend camping trip is somehow contradictory.